Hey guys, it's Kaini here and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to talk about the four new sunscreen products which are recently released by Malaysia's Etude House. And also, at the end of the video, I will show you guys how to apply sunscreen together with my summer makeup look tutorial. If you guys noticed the products from the start, then yes, they are the latest sunscreen products under Olaf Edition! Etude House has previously collaborated with a lot of Disney characters such as Winnie the Pooh and Friends, Dumbo the Elephant and also Minnie Mouse. So if you have watched Frozen the movie, you will know who Olaf is. He's the cute snowman who really loves summer, just like us. So right now it's the summer season. In order to protect our skin from the scorching heat and UV rays from the sun, these sunscreens are just what we need. So before we go through the products, I'm going to briefly explain what are SPF and PA regarding to ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B rays. The sun emits two types of rays, UVA and UVB rays. The UVA penetrates deeper into the dermis which is the thickest layer of the skin and causes premature skin aging and formation of wrinkles. UVB rays are mostly responsible for sunburns. Both UV rays can cause skin cancer if unprotected. SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor which protects the skin from UVB rays and PA stands for Protection Grade for UVA rays. The higher the SPF and PA, the greater the percentage of protection from both UV rays. Okay, so let's move on to the products. The first sunscreen is the UV Double Cut Clear Sun Stick. This is a stick type sunscreen which contains skin soothing ingredients. This sunscreen comes in very handy because this is suitable for quick and easy application. If you're looking for a convenient sunscreen without stickiness and clear finish without white cast, then this is the right one for you. It may look oily at first when you apply, but after a while it becomes matte and greasy free. You can apply the sunscreen before and after makeup or even without makeup as well. To apply the sunscreen, open the cover and twist up the stick. Apply at the direction from the middle and sliding outwards of the face. You can apply this sunscreen on your body as well. The second sunscreen is the UV Double Cut Fresh Sun Gel. This sunscreen contains powerful UV protection, anti-wrinkle and skin whitening effects. This gel type sunscreen contains thin formula and provides water splash texture which helps hydrate the skin. It gives a lightweight finish without stickiness on the skin. This product feels exactly like a light moisturizer and provides natural whitening effects. Besides, this is suitable if you're looking for a natural hydrated finish on your skin or that you have dry and patchy skin type. Next, this is the Sunprise Mild Airy Finish. This mild sun milk has high UV protection and contains sheer and milky texture with a powdery and silky finish. This sun milk is composed of mineral filters which makes it suitable for all skin types, especially for sensitive skin. You can apply this sunscreen when you're going out to the beach or to a pool swimming. Before applying this sunscreen, always remember to shake well before use so that the product is distributed evenly in the container and prevents patchy finish on the skin and hence your skin can enjoy the benefits of this sunscreen. Then the last one under the pink color is the UV Double Cut Moisture Tone Up Sun Fluid. Similar to the Fresh Sun Gel, this product also contains high UV protection, anti-wrinkle and brightening effects. It also contains moisturizing effects when you apply it. As like the others, this sunscreen leaves non-sticky and non-oily finish after application. If you look closely, you will notice a skin tone-like pinkish and beige color texture. This helps to create an even, radiant and natural skin tone correction. The Tone Up Sun Fluid and Sun Milk fall under the category of physical sunscreens. They provide long-lasting and immediate UV protection after application. However, physical sunscreens tend to have thicker texture which may be harder to apply. 
If applied improperly, it may leave white cast. For the sun stick and fresh sun gel, they are considered as chemical sunscreens. They spread and absorb well into the skin, leaving less chalky white finish. However, they tend to have low staying power than physical sunscreens. One thing to note that the ingredients may also irritate users who have sensitive skin. Thus, it is important to choose the correct sunscreen that fits your skin well before buying them. Alright, now let's proceed to the summer makeup tutorial. Starting with the basic skincare, I'm going to use Sun Jung Facial Whip Cleanser which is a foamy facial wash. I'm applying two pumps and massaging directly all over the face. After cleansing, wipe off the water by gently tapping on my face with a clean towel. Then I'm going to use a cotton pad and apply the Sun Jung Relief Toner on my face. And finishing off with using Moist Relief All-in-One Gel Moisturizer. Then I'm going to apply the UV Double Cut Moisture Tone Up Sun Fluid on my face. For sunscreen, the amount you should apply is the size along two joints of your index finger. Yes, it seems like a lot, but it is actually the sufficient amount that one should apply for sunscreen. To apply physical sunscreen in a proper way, it's best to blend it out with using a makeup puff and tap it repeatedly until the tone becomes even. I personally prefer this sunscreen the most as it provides skin whitening effect and since I'm a person who has sensitive skin and have breakouts easily. After setting the sunscreen, I'm going to apply Fix & Fix Tone Up Primer under mint shade to neutralize the redness parts on my skin. Next, I'm going to apply the Double Lasting Cushion Foundation under neutral beige on top of my face and neck. Using a cushion foundation is preferable than bottle foundation as it will minimize the heavy texture effect of the foundation and sunscreen together. After that, I'm using concealer to cover up the blemishes, acne scars and my dark circles. I'm also applying it on top of my eyes as a clear base for eyeshadow later on. Then I will draw my brows using drawing eyebrow pencil under the chocolate shade. Using the same concealer, I'm going to clean off the extra parts to give my brows a defined shape. Using blending and contour brushes, I'm going to contour my nose bridge, hairline, below cheekbones and jawline with using Play 101 stick. Now I'm moving on to a cool toned brown eyeshadow palette for my eye makeup. From the Caffeine Holic palette, I'm going to apply shade number 2 as a base color all over my eyes. Then slowly build up to a darker gradient tone with using orange brown shade and then with burgundy brown on the corner of my eyes. Blend it well with a blending brush with every shade applied. For the middle part of my eyelids, I'm going to top it up with a shimmery light brown shade from the palette. Then using the Amos Eyes Date Picnic, I will apply a thin layer and topping on top of the shimmer and at the bottom of my lower lash line. Now I will use a brown gel pencil liner. To finish off with the eye makeup, I'm going to top my lashes with a brown mascara. For the highlight part, I'm going to apply it after I finish my eye makeup. For the blush, I'm going to use Lovely Cookie Blusher and apply lightly on top of my cheeks and blend well. Lastly, I'm finishing off my lips using Dancing China from Butter Lips Talk for a toned up salmon pink color. So that's all for today and I hope you guys like this video. And tell me which sunscreen is your favorite. Oh and if you guys are a fan of Frozen, then you may want to get your hands on these lovely sunscreens as soon as possible because they are under the limited edition. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!